Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker, the Around Town team for really what is my favorite segment, our monthly Hero Around Town. And I'm here with the head of our school system, Dr. Lori Rodriguez. Dor Lori. Hi, Thanks nice to see you. Thank I, I kinda, you. I kind of surprised her on this. She thought we were just kind of <laughs> doing did. a sit down talk. <laughs> So uh, thank you for playing along with me and my shenanigans. Sure. I really do. But Lori, you have guided us through um, some tough times, mm -hmm. and, and you have helped maintain our school system's ranking. And we kind of talked about it a little bit. You know, Connecticut has its challenges. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons that our market, our area, generally continues to do well from a real estate perspective mm -hmm. is we have a safe place to live with great policing, and we have great schools. And so we, we owe do. that a lot to you and your incredible staff from top down who really, at the end of the day, you guys are serving this town with a lot of passion. And I see it with my kids in school now in Middlegate and Reed. Mm -hmm. And you kind of go in there and people care. And I hear that story repeated over and over. And it starts top down. It's not one person I think that makes that happen, but it's a culture that has continued before your leadership and something you've stewarded forward mm -hmm. during your leadership. So thank you for that. It certainly makes my job okay. easier and I appreciate it, but it also benefits obviously the social fabric of our town. So thank you and thank you for joining us. So, thank you. So let's just jump right in, okay? Uh, we, we talked a little bit before we, we turned the camera on here. Mm -hmm. What are the top three challenges mm -hmm. that you see? And I think there's always a ton of them, right? But kind of, of course, top, for any district, any district, any any in any may, way, make shape or form. But what are the top three challenges you see right now that we need to overcome or address in the coming years? So certainly, well, first of all, just so you know, and I just wanted to back up something you said earlier. I I worked here for so many years, yeah. so that you know, starting here, my one of my first jobs uh, yeah. was in Newtown. I worked as an English teacher, so I I know the system from, so well from bottom up. From bottom up. Yeah. So when we talk about what makes it so great, you know, leaving and coming back, I was gone about eight years. I have to tell you, it, I come back to a district, and I know why. I missed it so much yeah. and, and something you said it really is about a team it's from the ground floor up yeah. it really is and that makes the you know the fabric of the whole district why we're so excellent and, and we are uh, look every district has areas that they want to improve upon we're no different um, I think for us in Newtown the challenge like the state and the nation mm -hmm. are there are you know decreasing enrollment yeah. people leaving for whatever reason just not our state but others as well so we we all have that to kind of grapple with right. um, and it's difficult and it's challenging kind of to maintain the needed funds and yet a lower exactly. tax base and you always mm. have people saying well you lost this many students then you need to what are you doing about it and it's a I, I really as an educator I have to look at the educational sound de mm -hmm. decisions that we make it's not just about we're losing some students. We have right. to look at the overall picture because we, you know, I said something when I presented just recently in the um, budget presentation just a, a week or so ago. I want this to be a responsible design. That's sort of That's my, my motto yeah. going forward. And, you know, when I ask for things like, we just, you know, got the new director of teaching and learning this year. We were one of the, you know, districts that didn't have that kind of oversight. But we have to look at instruction in the classroom, the right. rigor, the academic pathways that we offer. We offer a project lead the way, part of engineering and, and, and um, the sciences. These are all critically important to prepare our kids for college sure. and beyond, yeah. um, no matter what career they're in. So we offer, we feel, a, a great deal of unique opportunities and pathways academically for students. But on the flip side, we also offer what we feel is just a caring environment, a supportive environment yeah. with our social emotional learning. And that is something that obviously in a place like Newtown, that becomes even Absolutely. more critical than anything. So it's really a balance of those things, and I think that we do a great job of it. You know, we're consistently up in the rankings. Yep. Whether you know we've we've had we've been up there in you know um, U.S. News and World Report both, both for our high school, and nationally. state well, and yeah. nationally. Yeah. Um, I just it's just so funny. I just looked at the niche rankings. You know, we're up there usually 25, 26 out of the high schools. Uh, and that's, all, that's out of a parochial, Catholic, uh, public? Well, this, or? that is usually just the high schools. Okay. Um, and yes, there are academies and parochial. Right. Um, and they just put another one out, which included everything. Okay. So that was parochial, academy, um, all of the elementary, all middle, intermediate schools, everything in one. And we came out, a Newtown High School was like 159, I think, out of 500 ranked. That's great. So in the top, you know, third of that is right. great. 
Um, and so, you know, we there are areas, we know that we have areas uh, that we have to look at. And, and, and where do you, what are one of those areas that come to mind as a, as a challenge that we're addressing? I think that um, when everything happened in Newtown, you know, other districts were really working um, hard on integrating their the uh, Common Core standards and, and really preparing students for a lot of those tests, standardized right. tests. You know, that's important, but not anywhere near as important as taking care of our kids. Absolutely. So um, some of the, there's been a lot of transformation throughout the district, just like many districts. Sure. So I think a variety of things, we really need to get back to teaching and learning um, and make sure that what we're doing in the classroom is highly rigorous, it's engaging, um, and it's preparing kids in the right way. Some of the right. news, you know, we moved from um, certain st state standardized tests to new ones yep. with Common Core. And, you know, there were districts spending years on that to prepare. Um, so I think that's that's really where we need to be. We're looking at our math scores. We're making sure that we're preparing kids in those ways. And we've got, a, you know, we've right. got room to grow. What, what, has, what has been... Um, maybe one of the more rewarding accomplishments since your tenure here? I think getting a team together, because we have fantastic teachers, a, a highly talented staff here, and I, like I said, that's part of the, the culture that just sure. exists in Newtown. Um, <clears throat> but I think really getting people to move in one direction, um, to have a constancy follow one mission, of follow. purpose, yes, and to feel good about that, that they're engaged and excited that wow, we're all kind of moving in the same direction and we, we know where we have to improve, we know where we excel. Right. You know, we have um, kids at our transitional program for our special education, yep. our 18 to 21 year olds who are working at the Newtown Community Center. I know, and if you haven't stopped by and seen <laughs> that, that is awesome. It, it's just yeah. amazing. And um, they visit here, the town and the board side. Uh, you know, those are things that you look at and you say, those are, they seem small, but they're huge. They're big accomplishments they're, they're, for, the, they're for individual huge. students. We, and uh, I think the other one, can I just yeah, add one no, more please. thing? The other is um, I put out an all call, so to speak, um, to the community, to the parents, and to staff to join what I call PEAK, mm -hmm. which was a parent educator advisory council, um, with the hope or the mission that we could sit around and have a great dialogue and actually get some things done, accomplished. Yep. Um, one was the budget and how we kind of get people that, you know, that apathy. And, well, to, build, and, and to build consensus early and have, have exactly. input from all different stakeholders. Right, and how we communicate. That was just one idea. But so the group has now, there's like 30 people in, in it, um, and their parents and their, their staff, yep. their supervisors, their principals, and they are so engaged. They, they just presented to the board and they have phenomenal ideas um, we have our first Holly group. Um, one of their goals was to get um, some of our students to really have a you know communication with the senior citizens at the community center. Yeah. So they're going to be sharing their products there soon. Cool. But it's just little things like that that means so much and, well, about a culture and their drive and strengthen the fabric of our community. Yes, you know I've, I've become over the years. Obviously, I've got kids going through the school system, but we've also become friendly and friends with a lot of the teachers in the system. And, mm -hmm. and the one commonality, and granted, I think teaching. I grew up. My mother was an educator for mm -hmm. 30, 40 years, and you know the one commonality is it's a hard job. <laughs> right? I mean, it is. Very. It, is it, it, it can feel thankless. <laughs> yes. you, obviously, you're, the, you know, you're not getting all the hours you put in and, and emotional um, and intellectual input that you have in these lives of the children. The pay doesn't make sense. It never will. It never does. Um, but the, the one commonality of all the, all the challenges I hear, but the one overarching commonality of the teachers that we've become friends with and experienced through our children's journey so far is that they fundamentally care. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the staff that you have. That's what it's all about. And I'll tell you what, even even... You know, the, the janitors I've, I've met with and spoken with, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm not exaggerating making this up, mm -hmm. they care. They take pride in their work. And there'll always be bumps and things, but um, we're really fortunate to have you and to have the teachers and the staff and the support staff and the administrators that we have here in Newtown. And I think oftentimes, and we're coming up on budget season, mm -hmm. I think that is lost. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I know you'll put forth a budget that's going to be probably <clears throat> pretty darn near flat um, and, and, and yet still provide everything we need. And so, you know, for that, I thank you. I think the town thanks you, and the town thanks all, you know, all the teachers and support and from bottom up, as you said, right? Because that's how it was built. It was, yeah. and it, you know what? I, I know it's a cliche, but it takes a village, and yeah. that's how I think all the staff feels and the administrators. We work as a team, 
and you know, and, and including our our conversations with the town and the town sure. boards. Um, it's really important. We're all in it together. It's a special place. <coughs> it really, is. It really is. It's it's. Uh, if you haven't been here yet, come, come by and spend a couple of days. So, yeah. Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank I you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much.